it's uh, still quite early. It's um, around about uh, 7.50. And uh, I'm back at the Belgium High Fens. It's the last day of 2016. Decided to come down because it's been a huge amount of frost. We've had a lot of fog as well. Looking at the forecast, it looks like we've got very clear skies here. I want to see if I can get a couple of landscape images today. Each time I come, I'm still trying to discover different areas. You can probably see it's still quite dark from the picture on the video. So I'm hoping that by the time I get over to where the sun's rising, I'll at least be able to find my first composition. So I think I've got my first composition. Um, and I'll pick the camera up in a minute and actually show you. The sun is behind me. The temptation is to shoot into the direction of the sun, but I'm not going to do that uh, simply because there's a lot of wind turbines over there. And there's quite a lot of planes coming in actually. We're not far from uh, Liège where they have a major uh, European airport, so we do get a lot of air traffic. Now, what's really interesting is first of all, it's absolutely freezing, so my fingers are very, very cold. Um, and what I'm going to first do is put a circular polarizer on. What I'm getting this side, as the sun's popping up, is a beautiful pink and purple hue um, just on the edge of the cloud. So I want to make that pop and the polarizer is going to allow me to do that. So let me get that dialed in. That's looking nice. And this landscape's actually very barren. It's, it is a fen, but there's a lot of very dead old trees. Um, so, compositionally, it's quite a challenge to try and get some interest. Um, here I'm going with F11. I've got my ISO quite low. I think I said in previous videos that uh, I don't have a remote for my GH4, so I just use the timer. Um, and what I've tried to do here is get some separation in the trees um, and compose for some of the colour in the sky. Got a slight angle on the horizon as well. That's unfortunate, but nothing you can really do. I and mean, it's quite a simple first composition, but it should be quite effective. Let's see what we look. Let's see what it looks like. That's what I've got in front of me, and there you can see on the screen the GH4 focused in on that uh, tree in the foreground and that lovely pink hue coming through. So I've just uh, been walking down this path here and uh, I've managed to uh, get a couple of compositions um, just picking out different trees and actually there's some really nice uh, foreground interest just here. Oh, can't quite see with my viewfinder, there we go. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of frost on the long grasses. The sun is just coming up over this hill and now we're starting to get some, if I turn around here on this path, you can start to see on the horizon some golden light coming through. So I'm going to head down there because I think that this part is going to get swept with golden light first and then it'll come into this section a little bit later on so I'll head back up here towards the car and hopefully I'm hoping to get some really nice golden light on these grasses and the frost as well and that's what I'm really looking for as well as another composition. So yeah, we'll go for another wander. So the sun's now come up, we've got light. Look at that, beautiful. So here's just a little tip for you. Now, if I want to take images in this direction, you can now see just there, I'm casting a shadow. So there's two trees here, which would make a nice composition, um, but you can get my shadow in them. So I'm now going to be looking at getting the light on different angles. Um, so that my shadow doesn't drop into the composition. But that's just a quick tip, always be aware of that because whatever you cast as a shadow in the foreground is going to come in your image and it's not going to look that great. But yeah, I'm hoping this sun is now going to actually warm temperatures up because I've had to put my gloves on, it's so cold. Sometimes I wonder if compositions can be too simple 
Um, have a look at this. So there we go. Yep, that tree there. Um, I've just framed up and with the longer lens focused in, got it in landscape orientation. Just got the polarizer on for the sky. I've actually taken the grad filter off because the sky is so blue and the light's so nice. Don't really need it. And it's part of the trees cutting the horizon anyway. I don't want that actually to interfere with the, uh, the tree. But uh, yeah, it's just one of those. Sometimes um, photography can be simple. Compositions can be simple. sun is up now we've got really good light um, and the color unfortunately has gone in the sky the sun's behind me here opposite me it's now blue and uh, a little bit of a, a haze on the horizon so yeah most of the color in the sky is gone which is unfortunate um, but uh, yeah I'm right in the middle of the fen and uh, I'm actually just looking at these grasses as the sun's sort of falling on them um, it's making for some interesting textures so uh, I've got the camera down here uh, I've just been trying to just been trying to get a composition with the sun backlit onto those grasses and uh, without a lens flare I've got my polarizer on and uh, it's been quite a challenge um, also switched the lens as well went for kind of like the 3500 millimeter which is the 70 to 200 equivalent on the, the GH4 just to try and compress a little bit into the scene um, and I had to keep a low angle as well. Um, just want to kind of set that down. Yeah, so see it down here. I had to keep a really low angle, um, which is a shame because I actually wanted to try and get some of the frost patches in, um, because that would have again given some nice interest into the scene, the contrast of the warmth of the light with the, the cold of the frost. But uh, it's not going to happen. Um, but I think I got the image I wanted. I think I got uh, a good image of the warmth of those grasses and the sunlight. Um, it almost looks like uh, kind of like spider's web with, with sunlight from here. It's, it's a pretty impressive scene. I just wish or hope the camera can do it justice for you. It's good to have a natural curiosity. I was just walking all the way down here and I thought well I'll turn around and go back because I knew there was some frost and some ice back there. But I followed the footpath all the way around. There's actually a circuit what the French call it, or in the French language, uh, circuit de promenade. And, uh, I'm in a little bit of a dip and I found a really nice composition just down here. I can lower my camera some uh, some frost in a little dip and I've got it in uh, portrait orientation and uh, heading up the fen to that tree line and a little bit of sky and it's come out really nice I've seen my first video from the High Fens, which was a few months ago. And um, at that time, I was up at a park way up there, and I had a long lens on, and I was actually focused in on this section here. There's a lot of dead trees just here, so I've kept the long lens on. Nice things. And again, I've got a nice composition from it. Um, the wind's come up now, so the grasses are moving. Um, so I've got my shutter speed probably about 50th a second which is good enough on a tripod to make sure that those grasses aren't moving too much I don't want to get too much movement I could always uh, try and pump things up and uh, see if I could get some movement with a little stopper but uh, I might try that a bit later You 
might be able to hear from my microphone that I've found some running water. Um, it's not a waterfall, it's actually run off from the fence in the drainage line. But, um, yeah, there's some relatively nice portrait orientation, or vertical orientation compositions that can be had probably along here. Um, I'm just taking my first one. There's uh, some shadow and uh, I've got my polarizer on there just to reduce the reflection a little bit. Um, some light falling on the right side and there's some frost as well. And actually down here, I'm not quite sure if we can get to it, but uh, down this side there's actually some ice built up around the water and a little bit a few bubbles. So I might see if I can actually get an angle there. Even with slightly longer lens, I might be able to do that. I've got a wider angle lens on um, for this one. But yeah, it's uh, not always nice to have some running water. It gives a little bit more feature to the landscape. So I'm just going to work around this area for uh, a few minutes and see what I can get. Well, I've gone all the way around the circuit and uh, yeah, I got some nice photos from it this morning, good images, and uh, I'm just wrapping up. This is my last one I've actually got back onto the, uh, the pathway here, as you can see. And uh, I'm actually using this pathway, it's an elevated wooden deck, uh, actually to keep uh, people off the, um, the grasslands, and the, the, um, as it's a, a fen, obviously, uh, there's a lot of saturated water in the, um, in the land. So that's raised up to keep people off it. And um, I'm actually going to use that as a leading line over to the, the hills over there. So that'll be my final image of the day. Um, and yeah, it's been a really good morning. It's just gone nine o'clock now. I've been up since five. So yeah, it's been quite a long morning. And I'm gonna head back to the car for some breakfast. This is my last video 2016. It's New Year's Eve. If you subscribe to my channel or if you've liked or commented on one of my videos, a very big thank you. I really do appreciate it. I know there's a lot of photographers out there doing this type of content creation. I really appreciate the time that you take to look at my work and uh, hopefully um, you get something from it. And yeah, I've got a lot of plans coming up in 2017, so stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video.